Meet Lebowski. He's an eight to ten year old boxer male all the way from Texas. And he certainly has an unknown, painful, scarred past. But he's now looking for a bright, loving future. Uh, Redemption Cop Paws got a call from a shelter in Texas who had him and he was in very rough shape. He had clearly been attacked many, many times throughout his life. Um, and they really needed so they really needed help with him. Redemption Paws is a dog rescue that's been open fully since 2017 after Hurricane Harvey. Now they've brought over 400 dogs to Canada to be saved, medically treated, and adopted into a loving home. Uh, so we partner with a group called Speaking Up for those who can't. Um, they're out of Andrews, Texas, and they often send us a lot of really awesome dogs. But uh, one day they sent me a photo of this really sad-looking boxer who was blind, um, and he was sitting in um, a really rough pound. And she said, "What do you think?" And I said, "Absolutely," because we take a lot of blind and deaf and special needs dogs, so there was really not much to think about. Um, so we we took him, and we when she took him into the rescue, she realized that he had been attacked multiple times um, in who knows the last couple of years. He was covered in scars and bite wounds, but he was the sweetest, like kindest dog. Just was so happy when he got in the car out of the pound. Like he clearly knew his life had been saved. Um, and he's just the most grateful dog. After being treated for his wounds over the past several weeks, upon his Canadian arrival, Lebowski then made himself right at home here with Craig and Sarah Pugh. The Burlington native couple have fostered over 10 dogs from all over the world, but they say Lebowski certainly is one of the toughest to deal with. So Lebowski is in pretty rough shape. He is probably in the worst shape of any foster I've had. He is covered in scars. He has quite a few scars all over his body. Uh, he was very, very thin when he arrived at our house. He's still quite thin and he's already gained about two or three pounds. Uh, Lebowski has uh, no teeth. All the teeth he did have and still does have are abscessed. So he actually has a surgery next week to have those removed and he has no eyes. So when he was um, when he was brought up to Canada, he did have eyes. He was blind. Uh, he had damage to his eyes from trauma, likely from other dogs. So he did have his eyes removed. So he is blind and he has no teeth. Um, but we're working on on getting him better and fattening him up every day. Regardless, Lebowski's struggles and hardships have made him resilient, and he's also a sucker for a good cuddle or even a belly scratch. Uh, so, Lebowski is the sweetest boy you could ever imagine. He is so cuddly, so loving. Um, despite everything he's been through, he's still so trusting. His favorite place is to just be on your lap. He'll just come find you by your voice and he'll come up and wiggle his bum and get on the couch and cuddle with you. He's really, honestly, he's such a joy. Lebowski is up for adoption, and you can learn more about him online at redemptionpaws.org, and you can also take a look at some of his other friends that are ready for adoption. For Halton News, I'm Kristen Demony.